What's up, Rito? Shade Tree Surgeon here, standing out with David Tyler's very own personal Kawasaki ZX Roll, Kawasaki Concourse. It has ZX14 motor. You guys who follow the channel and come to the campouts know that the March Forgotten Angels campout is coming up real soon, the weekend of March 18th. We have a Facebook group put together for that. I'll have that link down below. Really hope you guys can come out and party with us. You guys have also wondered, because we haven't done a raffle for Forgotten Angels, what we were doing about that. We've been doing the raffle for Burt's, and we've been really excited about that. It's been very successful. We actually chose not to do a raffle this season for Forgotten Angels so we could focus on helping out the hurricane victims and stuff like that. But with the camp out coming up and in the spirit of sacrifice, David Tyler, who has donated more to Forgotten Angels monetarily than anybody and has never taken a single dime from it, has decided to donate his very own Kawasaki Concourse to the raffle. It's on a very limited number of raffle tickets for this bike. It's a freaking absolute rocket ship. It comes with a tour pack, full bags, the whole deal. And of course, as always, if you do end up winning this raffle, we'll fly you down here to Tampa to party with us for a Forgotten Angels camp out. You can fly out for this camp out in March if you like, and you'll be able to ride this thing back home. And trust me, it's been on a cross country trip three times. One of them was with me. This bike freaking rips, dude. It's a 160 horsepower touring machine that's as comfortable as a gold wing. I'll have a link to that in a pinned comment and in the description down below. Like I said, we're only selling 250 tickets to this, and they're like probably like 30 or 40% of them are already sold. So there's only a few spots left in that raffle. If you want to get in on it and you want to help out Forgotten angels like i said we have the camp out coming up and we didn't do a raffle this season not a big one like we usually do which is one of forgotten angels main money makers is these raffles that we do every six months since we didn't do one the camp out is a pretty big expense so that's why david decided to donate his own personal bike to it because it's about sacrifice we ask you guys to donate to the cause to help forgotten angels and these young men who have aged out of foster care this is just helping david and cindy on their mission they don't take a dime they've never taken one single dime like i said david spends money on forgotten angels every single month and this last six months, because we've been doing the hurricane raffle, he spent a lot more money. So he has decided, again, to raffle off his concourse, not just for some extra money to help the camp out go smoothly and pay some bills around Forgotten Angels, but also just because he wanted to sacrifice something because we asked you guys to sacrifice something. Every raffle ticket you guys buy is a new video game you might want to buy, a night out eating, a new part for your motorcycle. Every penny that you donate to Forgotten Angels, with the chance to win something cool, of course, is something that you're taking away from yourself and sacrificing and giving to those in need. Who are we to ask you guys to make sacrifices unless myself and David Tyler are also willing to make sacrifices? sacrifices for this. Link down below, grab that. Maybe you'll get to come down here and party with us or yeah, maybe you just get to feel good doing a good deed and helping out these boys who really need a helping hand. They need that, just not even their second chance, they need their first chance. And hopefully, hopefully, I'll see you at the camp out. Now let's go hang out with Cammy. All right, it's a whole ass other day with a whole ass Cammy spending some time on the Ducati, baby. <laughs> <laughs> with her whole ass. This seat's big enough for my ass. Your ass is definitely fitting on it. I know, now it's, you're gonna have to make up your mind whether you want a Ducati or a Nightster. This does sound a bit better. Yeah, definitely's got the sound. That's for damn sure. <laughs> Dude, Gamby looks so tiny next to that bike. Do you look so baby tough with those shoes on and your pants? Baby tough. Baby tough. The white shoes do it for me. Give it a jerk. I'm not gonna let you fall. Jerk it harder. All right, I'm gonna help you. Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous to stop though. As long as you can get one foot down, you're good. Coming to a stop, just be in my head, be like, where am I gonna put my foot down? And you'll be good. Right. You got this, I believe in you. You're gonna be just fine. We're both on dad jeans. This uh, Cami's dad jeans look a little better than mine. And Cami and Shay have got that in common. They might be a little nervous when they hop on a bike that's way too tall for them, but they're sure as fuck gonna try. It also helps that it's the douche Cotty and she's not that worried about dropping it. I mean, it is an adventure bike. Aren't they supposed to get dropped? Of course, when Ducati started calling that thing an adventure bike, I think the biggest adventure they had planned for it is going over the curb at Starbucks, but hey man, an adventure's an adventure. It's all relative, right? To some people, that's a big adventure. And you know what? Even if she's not taking it off road, which probably would be really nerve wracking, barely being able to touch the ground on that thing. Amy Bay's having an amazing adventure, right? Riding a motorcycle, that's way too tall for her. It's just fun, man. And you know, there's people out there like, that's dangerous. Well, you know what? Motorcycles are dangerous. The safest way to not be hurt on a motorcycle is to not ride a motorcycle at all. You're doing great. <laughs> you got it, kid. I can't hear a word you're saying, but you look great. And then that what really matters, 
I like this new helmet, dude. I can't hear anything you're saying. I just get to look at you. It's awesome. <laughs> does it look cool? No, wait, does it look too cool? Because that, that's the thing. I got this HJC for just around town stuff because I wanted a helmet that was lighter than my Shoei Neotech just for literally popping on my head for around town. Because sometimes I'm guilty of it. I do it all the time. I don't wear a helmet when I'm running down to the corner store. And trust me, I'm not a Adagat guy at all, but it's one of those lead by example things where I've gone back and forth on that so many times and I just told myself, you know what? Even when I'm running down to grab my morning drinks from the grocery store or the stab and grab, I should put a helmet on. So I wanted something easier, more casual to put on. That's why I got this HJC. But it's definitely like a try-hard cool guy helmet, that's for sure. But guess what? I'm kind of a try-hard kind of guy, so I have no other way. If I'm going to try, I'm going to try hard, baby. I've never understood why that was a bad thing. But I guess that's why I'm a try-hard. Dude, you got it, Cam. You're good. Dude, you got it, Cam. You're good. Yeah, I saw that little dance move. I like that. <laughs> no, you're good. I ain't worried about a thing. I bet if you drop it, I won't even feel anything. Oh, man. <laughs> in the freaking, in the German helmet on the freaking DR, XR650, whatever that is. Didn't have to go that hard on the, on the XR650. But he went that hard. Damn, dude, I'm in love, baby. And white sneaks on the red and white bike. I'm in love. Cammy, I'm in love. I love you on that bike. <laughs> the white sneaks, the red and white bike. You look so fucking cute. I want to die. I am in love. I literally want to die. My heart is breaking right now. No. Not Gorf. No. Oh my God, that was a close one. Lose all my magic, dude. My luck would run right out like a horseshoe turned up upside down if I if I lost the Gorf. Little Stearns Road, man. Welcome home. Oh, we're coming out here to Forgotten Angels because one, it's always nice to come out to Forgotten Angels. Two, we want to hang out with our good friend David Tyler and Cindy Tilly. It's actually Cindy's birthday soon. And three, I'm taking this Grandpa Glide. I'm taking this nice, comfortable, broken pair of dad jeans, the Bangkok Bagger. And today, I'm trading it in, baby. Today, I'm swapping it out for a high-powered modular set of assault dad jeans the sleeper baby the sleeper the one they never see coming the Connie 1400 David's Kawasaki what if I push you I'll fucking hit you. would you yeah, but once I lifted the bike off your ass yeah. <laughs> oh yeah yeah you got I haven't touched it yet it's still all you Smart. It's a learning computer, a neural net processor. <laughs> Up here at Forgotten Angels, and even though I'm gonna take out the tactical assault sleeper dad jeans over here, the Connie 1400. Before that, I'm gonna take a ride on this thing, dude. I've not ridden this old 1100 yet, and I've actually never ridden a Gold Ring 1100. The 1000 and the 1100 variations of this motor are the only ones I've never ridden. And I will tell you, even though I love my 1500, I've always liked, even though it's more complicated, I've always liked the response on a four carburetor gold wing like these old ones were complicated and a pain in the butt but i really love it plus this bike is just freaking pretty damn cool man i'm not gonna lie all right let's see what it's all about and by the way huge thanks to the people who donated this my man your name ran right out of my head i'm terrible with names i can assign you one if you like i'm good at making up names i might have gotten so good at making up names because i'm bad at rem actually remembering them anyway this bike was donated to forgotten angels we do take motorcycle donations we take vehicle donations if it has a title We'll take it. We can give you up to a $9,000 tax credit. So email David. I also have an email set up specifically for vehicle donations if you wanna take those off your taxes or if you just got a car that you're like, I wanna do something good. I don't have any cash, but I have this vehicle that I'd like to donate to Forgotten Angels and get a tax credit for it. Hit us up. If, if it doesn't run, and but it could run, we'll come pick it up if it's you know close enough for us to do that. Hit us up, man, because we can take that old vehicle and we can accomplish some really good things with it and everyone feels pretty good. I'm not sure exactly what this motorcycle is going to do but i can guarantee you it's going to do some awesome things for forgotten angels but i'm also going to have a good time in the meantime i love this thing with knobby tires the previous owner the gentleman who donated it said he put these knobby tires on it because he lived on a gravel road and this was his only means of transportation so he was like you know what yeah his gold wings getting knobby tires baby dude the chrome on this thing is like this bike is actually in really great shape all right is it gonna want a choke to start up 
Nope, starts right up. Ooh, dude, I already love this thing, man. Who knew a Goldwing could be kind of fun to ride around with no fairing on it? I always just like, why would you take the fairing off one? But it does make it feel a lot different. And of course, my 1500 would have a whole lot better throttle response if both carburetors work, but I've ridden other 1500s as well. I will tell you, just the four carburetors, that's what I really want to try a Valkyrie. Those, that with six carburetors, I bet that thing's rips. Just the throttle response of having a carburetor for every cylinder is just so much better. It's not faster. Even my 1500, even with one carburetor, makes more power than this motorcycle does. But man, just the way it rolls on the throttle feels really good. You know what I want to do? I want to put the 1200 motor in the 1500 frame because the 1500 frame is like everything that they did right on that was just everything that was wrong on the old ones. I just think I like the old four cylinder motor better. I think I do. Dude, this thing accelerates just fine, baby. I can dig it. It's got a beat. I can dance to it. Ooh, my man in the Lambo <laughs> rocking the, the red fedora to match his car. You know what? Go on with your bad self. Cammy said she wanted a tea. Is it sweet tea or is it green tea? Better just get them both. Yeah. This bike is actually awesome, man. Thank you for the donation, my man. Super cool of you. This bike freaking rocks. The names are already coming to me, baby. If the gold wing, the names are already coming to me. If my gold wing, the mail order glide, if that's dad jeans, well, this is that cut off pair of jeans that you mow the lawn in. This sucker's dad jorts. I christen thee the dung beetle. You know, it trundles along. It's got a little pep in its step, but it likes to go off road, get a little dirty, still carry all your stuff with you. Yeah, the dung beetle fits. There goes a happy dog right there. Jason and Jay buddy freaking chases him in on his motorcycle. It's one of the things that makes Forgotten Angels so special, man. All these group homes, these foster homes that they put these kids in, and even the few small places that are available to them afterwards, there's one rule, no dogs. How the hell are you supposed to live without your dog, man? So that's always been the rule at Forgotten Angels. If you're going to come here and you're going to be under their care, Dave and Cindy are going to help you out and take you in from being homeless, and you got a dog with you, you get to keep the dog. How could you take somebody's dog away? Horrendous. All right, Cammy has decided against the dung beetle. She's also decided against the pasta rocket. And I thought I was gonna trade out the mail order glide for the tactical assault dad jeans, but I think Cammy Bay is actually gonna take the Kawasaki. <laughs> I'll just tell you, dude, if you, you know, when a bike fits the person out of all the baggers here, this one does fit you the best. Does it? Okay, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know. It looks like aggressive. It's like black on black on black. No, 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 no. But you should ride a bike that looks aggressive, right? I don't know. Vote down below. You love it? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I just heard the yes. Yeah, she loves it. <laughs> dude, I know it's fast. Yeah, it's scary. You get on it, you're like, no, dude, this can't be real. I told you it was scary fast. I didn't expect that at all. Uh, things are freaking rocket. Nobody sees that bike coming, dude. I did not expect that. She rode the hell out of it, though, I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, okay, but this is David, though. He's just like, meh, and then he looks at, he's like, and I'm like, okay, man, I'm like, oh, good work. Whoosh, right past me. I was like, okay, that's so fast. <laughs> that was fun. Me on the pasta rocket. We got these dad jeans set up, baby. We got the freaking tactical assault jeans over there. We got the lycra leggings, the pasta rocket, the, the, <laughs> the Italian pastrami jeans. We got David on the comfy dad jeans over there, the grandpa glide, and my man Chef. We ain't going without, uh, without at least one gold wing all right yeah i like it man <laughs> i like it a lot high time that me and david went on another adventure and this adventure is only over to mountain door to eat at a really cool sushi restaurant but adventure like i said sometimes it's just riding off the curb at starbucks sometimes it's going two hours away sometimes it's going to a whole other continent but every adventure is an adventure okay and don't let anybody tell you any different all right you adventure your own way and you go on with your bad self as we say comparison is the thief of joy now look at this bad bitch riding all sorts of different bikes Gold Wings, Kawasaki Concours. Dude, out of control. Cami Bay, the freaking bad as hell is what she is. <laughs> what you like? Were you like that inline four? What do we, what we got out there, man? The flat six. 
<laughs> got pretty much everything on display right now. We got liquid cooled V twins, air cooled V twins, inline four cylinders, flat six cylinders. This is what I love about motorcycles is all of them. I like all sorts of weird motorcycles and they make me happy when there's a lot of them in the same group, man. Trust me, I love Harley Davidson and I love all you guys who go on these big Harley rides, but man, having a bunch of different stuff in the same place, that is what makes me happy, baby. I'm not brand loyal in the slightest. I'm a dog. I just like bike. I think that she looks better on the Ducati. Well, better on the Ducati than I do. She looks better on the Kawasaki than I do too. <laughs> and maybe better than you, whoever's gonna win it. David's actually giving that thing away. We're doing a raffle for the Kawasaki and someone's gonna get to fly to Tampa and ride it home. Or we'll drop it off for you if you really want. But the Kawasaki Concourse, that freaking big black rocket over there, someone is gonna get to enjoy the hell out of that thing. Sorry guys, no, it doesn't come with Cami. Although if you choose to fly down here and pick it up and ride it home, we will all party with you. So technically, yeah, it does come with Cami. It just also comes with me and Shaylisi and David and Shep and Alex the Diplomat and everybody else. Oh, look at those guys out on the Vander Hall. That's so cool. It's out here loving life, baby. Dude, I forgot to text Alex. I just texted him where we're going. I feel like an asshole. Uh, David actually decided to give away that Kawasaki concourse with, of course, 100% of the benefits or 100% of the proceeds going to benefit Forgotten Angels. He actually approached me and said, you know, Josh, I feel bad. I feel guilty because you've personally donated three of your own bikes. Uh, with, and we're not taking any money back. I never take any money for them, but personally donated three of your own bikes uh, to raffles to give away. And I was just like, David, nobody in the world has spent more of their own money making sure Forgotten Angels works than David Tyler and Cindy Tilly have. So that is for sure. David has absolutely nothing to feel guilty about, but that's also just the kind of guy David is. And since this is the 10 year anniversary of him losing his father, he's told me he wants to dedicate this whole year to his father, Raymond Tyler, who made him into the man that he is today. And he said he's every month or maybe even every week, he's going to do something that would make his father proud and do something that his father would do, which in David Tyler's words was putting others before himself. So he wants to make that sacrifice for him. And as David says, that is his favorite bike that he has ever owned. And he is completely donating it, not taking a penny for it, obviously, to Forgotten Angels to this raffle. Only 250 tickets available. And of course, if you want to fly down here and ride at home, we'll make that happen too. I don't know, man. Every time I think I'm doing good, David Tyler just does a little bit better. He always says he wishes I could have met his father, Raymond, but every time he describes him and he describes the good things he would do and the kind of person that he was, I just in my head, I think, David, trust me, I've met Raymond Tyler because I know you. And when you're describing how amazing your dad was and how he put other people first, what kind of person he was, David, that's you. That's you, man. And I think all of us who have participated in Forgotten Angels and in helping these young men and being a part of something bigger than us and giving back to our community, all of us who have participated in it, you know, just felt amazing about it. We all owe David Tyler a debt of gratitude. Of course, when you tell him that, he's going to say that we really owe it to his father, Raymond Tyler. I was saying, wearing this HJC, it's completely open helmet. I've just got the drop down visor, but I have no idea how it's going to sound on the highway right now. You know, I originally thought I was riding the Connie, and the Connie has a windshield that goes all the way up. The Ducati doesn't, so I can't even hear my own voice right now. I have no idea if you guys are going to be able to, so uh, we'll see you in Mount Dora. Shh, be cool. It's the fuzz. Nothing to see here, officer. Just uh, a couple of nice young girls and young boys out of her little adventure on their scoots. All part of the law-abiding citizens club. Well, as I was saying, <laughs> before the fuzz left and the horsepower came in, uh, this HJC helmet, this V60, anything above 65 miles an hour, and it's pretty awful. Anything uh, between 60 and 65, it's not very fun. Anything underneath 60 miles an hour, I love it. Uh, I will also add to this helmet's weak points, Driving behind a semi on a one lane road where there's construction and dirt all over the road and rocks, ouch. Definitely not a helmet without a visor strong suit either. Ah. Yeah, uh, this ain't exactly, ooh, golly. This ain't exactly a touring helmet, okay? Ow, getting freaking exfoliated over here. All right, that's a little better. Holy mackerel, man. <laughs> it's just 
People pay good money for that kind of sand scrub on their face, you know what I mean? But uh, I'm gonna pass on it today if I can avoid it. Now I'm always complaining about how what a pain in the butt it is to go to Orlando, but then when I actually take the back roads, I take the nice way to Orlando, it's actually really nice. It just happens to be that the fast way to Orlando is a lot faster than this way. It's also just absolutely awful in a straight line. It's literally 80 miles of awful in a straight line without one single curve. It's really terrible. But it takes like 45 minutes longer to go there this way. I mean, there's just, at the end of the day, there's no good way to get to Orlando. Although, technically, this is the good way. Very beautiful, just a little less beautiful now that I'm behind a dump truck again. <laughs> I so know these guys are just out here working and doing their job, and I'm just like, God damn it, dude. Three drunk, three dump trucks in a row in front of me with this helmet on. I'm like, uh, I was supposed to be on the Connie, though. Well, at least Cammy ain't getting blasted in the face with this stuff. Not that she couldn't deal with it. Not that she's not tough enough to handle it. If he's only honest with you, she'd actually probably complain less than I do. All right, we're losing one dump truck. Just one, though. Damn it. You know what though? Definitely worth the dump trucks. <laughs> I just love Florida. I love Florida that looks like this, man. And most people who come here, they either just see the beach or they see the city. They don't ever get to see this part of Florida. I freaking love it out here, man. Worth all the rocks from the dump truck. All right, once again, dump truck free, baby. <laughs> dump truck free and look, an actual hill in Florida. Well, we are going to Mount Dora. And these are the foothills of Mount Dora. Oh, all the speedy boys are out having fun. And it's a bummer that I never take this way to Orlando. It's just like, gosh, it takes so much longer. And there's not even like an option where it's kind of close to the highway. It's like a hundred miles the other way from the highway. Like you can't even be like, oh, I'm gonna do part of it. It's either you go completely this way or completely the other way. And we're not even going to Orlando. Mount Dora is just outside of Orlando, but the same roads you would take though. Oh, I can't believe I've never been to Mount Dora. It is absolutely gorgeous. This is what Florida should look like, man. This is just pure Florida to me. Big oaks right next to palmettos, right next to a big freshwater lake. Well, not a big lake, it's a small lake. Pretty much a pond, but you know, you get what I'm saying. This place is freaking gorgeous, man. At Wave, Mount Dora. The dude who freaking uh, took our order already knew. I, I was watching him on Instagram and he knew everyone else wasn't because everyone else ordered literally all exactly the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> everyone got the hibachi bowl, even Cammy. So I just had to order like 10 different things on me. Yeah, stick holes in it. Dude, if you put that in your mouth, it is going to set you on fire. <laughs> it's hot and sharp. Anyway, this is a crab rangoon. Oh, it cools in all of them though, so they cool off. A crab rangoon mozzarella stick. You like crab, Shep? Never had crab. Yeah. What have you had behind a burger? Besides a burger? Steak. A steak burger? <laughs> <laughs> Was there bread, tomato, lettuce, and onion involved? <laughs> oh, is that how you take it? Just plain? Just a hockey puck on fucking two pieces yeah. of bread? Yeah. It was like that when I came here. Cammy orders her fast food that way. I'm sorry, I'm busting her out right now. She'll go. She'll be like, let me get that Wendy's burger, but just the meat and the bun. Okay. Ketchup. Yeah, ketchup and cheese. You're Indiana showing. I know. <laughs> See? <laughs> yeah, I can already tell this is gonna tear up the inside of my mouth like a freaking, you know, you gotta ever get a sub or like a toasted sub. Mm. Oh my God, it's delicious. It's so good. Dave, you gotta eat one of these, man. Dude, everything here is so freaking good. Look at what Cammy got. It's so good, man. I can't wait to try a bite. Mm. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Look at Chef freaking eating his freaking eating his sauce. That ain't got marinara on it, dude. <laughs> you want a spoon to roll it up in, bud? <laughs> hey, give me a break, man. Give, give me a break. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it, dude. <laughs> All right, like I said, these guys hanging out like they're at the freaking eating from the buffet, like they're at the diarrhea dragon. This is what we came for, dude. Sushi hot dog made with uh, flaming hot Cheetos with a soft shell crab inside of it. And a sushi donut. It looks like it hurts to eat. It looks like it hurts to eat. It might hurt later. You know, like they say, man. 
<laughs> See, that's how I understand about childbirth. It feels so good going in, coming out as a real bitch. Diplomat, you came in at just the right time, man. Mess this up. Again. Yeah. Have fun at your buffet, dude. We got our own. <laughs> Digging my hand. <laughs> All right, I gotta take one bite out of this hot dog like it was an actual hot dog. Oh my god. Dude, it weighs like a pound. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. Dude, it's so good. All right, sushi donut. I don't think they're meant to eat like this, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> it's also good. For the very first time, Mr. Indiana trying soft shell crab for the first time. The cool thing about soft shell crab is they just fry it with the shell on. So you're eating the shell too. It's great, isn't it? Not bad. It has like a more meaty texture yeah. than some of the. Yeah, so shell crab is actually really mild. Not beef, but not bad. You yeah, know, it's a crab, chef. It's not beef. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always said this. See? Well, look at how you going outside your bounds, dude. I love it. Oh, Where, how to sign your name? Wait, <laughs> Mount Dora. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Go for it, man. You know how you eat this? That was like, how do you eat it? I, I like With your fucking mouth. No, no, no. The one bite at a time. Just one bite, one full bite. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Fish eggs exploded out. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> the fish eggs really good. Thanks for coming along on that little mini adventure with Kami Bay on the Kawasaki ZX. I keep calling it ZX14 on the Kawasaki Concourse. Connie on a Kami. I thought she looked pretty damn good on it, although I gotta admit I prefer her on the Ducati if I'm being completely honest. Anyway, her video is coming up next. Make sure you go support her. I'm gonna have the, if you're here in the premiere chat right now, I'm gonna have her video linked up to this one. Make sure you subscribe to Kami. Show her a little bit of love. She's been going through a pretty tough time and the fact that she's still able to get up and make content and it is fun to make content but sometimes it's hard to get up and do it when you got a lot of stuff in life beating you down and I'm so very proud of her and she's still getting out there and doing it and having a good time and making these videos and I'd like you guys to go show her some support too so jump on her video it's coming on right out of this one make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh you know leave her a little bit of encouragement down there in the comments all right on to Cami Bay's video Cami on a Connie until next time y'all keep it weird Crashing through the sky comes a fearful cry. Shade tree. Army. Shade tree. Army. Armies of the night. Evil taking flight. Shade tree. Army. Shade tree. Army. Nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. Panic spreading far and wide. Can the world oppose the deadliest of foes? Shade tree, army. Shade tree, army. Who will risk it all to end the evil call of shade tree, army? Shade tree, army. They never give up. They never say die. Walking tall with banners high. Shade Tree Army, a ruthless gang of scum, villains, freaks, and bikers determined to rule the world.